Hello and welcome. My name is Emily Seal and I'll be your instructor this summer 2013. Um, this is Introduction to Theater which is a liberal arts credit. You uh, can either take this or music or art but I'm so glad you've decided to take theater here at Motlow College. Um, I am stationed at the Smyrna site. If you want to make an office appointment with me for any reason, I do have an office at the main campus as well in Oaf Hall. So, um, good news, I am traveling to Scotland and London this summer. So some of the correspondence that we'll be doing will be long long distance across the ocean distance so I know some of you have already contacted me saying I have vacations am I going to be able to work around my schedule and uh, I certainly hope so because I definitely need to work around my schedule as well so here's kind of how I've set up the class um, if you have taken an online class before, then uh, hopefully this will be no step for a stepper. But for those of you who are completely new to the online environment, I know you need a little extra hand-holding. So um, uh, there is one final exam that needs to be proctored on a Motlow camp campus. And um, that's just to you know make sure that your being honest about who's doing the work and that question will be uh, that exam will be proctored it'll be multiple choice um, but it's just to keep you honest so we ask that you bring your student ID that day check in with the main office and they will set you up to take the exam and well I'll tell you what day that is when you we get to the schedule portion um, so there are 12 quizzes uh, or assessments as they're called. Your assessment um, is under the assessments tab. Each of one of those quizzes is based on both the reading, the lecture, and the supplementary videos that there are to watch. So if you just log into assessment, assessment should be the last thing that you do during every chapters work. Make sure that you review everything and then go back and take the assessment. And then of course make sure that you take it in a timely manner before it closes out. Um, I, I will give very little leniency if you don't get your quizzes in on time. There are very few excuses for that. As you're reading through the chapters, you'll also talk with each other about it. Um, I believe that part of the online learning environment or part of the learning environment that you're paying for is to learn from each other, not only from me. And uh, sometimes you can say it more eloquently to each other than I can because I've been so entrenched in theater for so many years that some of the jargon that I might use, some of the way that I explain things may be um, very complex, whereas some of you can say it to each, each other in a way that's maybe less complex and more understandable. Um, and also, you know, a chance for you to connect with other people in your community in our community college. So, there are two papers. The first one is over Joe Turner's Come and Gone. So if you haven't already looked at the syllabus and seen that that's our supplementary text, Joe Turner's Come and Gone by August Wilson, make sure that you pick that up either online or in your local uh, Motlow College bookstore. Those are available. Um, that paper is what's called a character analysis. You can find out more about that in chapter four. The other paper that we have is a live theater production. You need to go see a play in the area of Middle Tennessee or while you're on vacation. If you do plan on seeing one while you're on vacation, make sure you double check it with me before you go so that I uh, can approve it as a theatrical production. There are some great productions out there that may be considered more ballet or opera. We just want to make sure that the production you're seeing is true American theater. So, um, And then we'll have a few creative assignments. You'll write a poem and we'll also have a costume design uh, which will be more information on that to come. But, um, you know, on the syllabus or in the handbook, it kind of tells you that this, this theater class is sort of a review of the history of theater and sort of a, you know, 
as are all of these really quick overview of everything that's ever had to do with theater, such as design. But I am going to ask you to be creative and artistic at moments, um, to flex that muscle, because it's a real muscle that you'll use in other parts of your life. Um, please don't come to me and say, oh, I just can't draw, or I'm not a creative person. Uh, I, I think that every person is creative, especially if they apply themselves. So if you've got your calendar with you, here's some dates I'd like you to make sure to get down. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I see as an instructor with online learning is people just letting the time get away from them. So make sure that you're keeping a planner and that you're keeping up with these important dates. So I kind of made the first one uh, a little bit farther off than I have in the past because I have had the experience of people kind of just taking a while to get acquainted with D2L. Um, before I go any further, let me just make it clear that you can work ahead. All of these quizzes are set by an end date. You could probably finish the entirety of this class outside of the final exam. Of course, you have to go and take that final exam in person in August. But if you wanted to finish everything else about this class in June, maybe because you had to teach a camp in July, um, I'm fine with that. I, I say work at your own pace for the most part. But I digress. So make sure that you get all of the work for chapters 1 and 2 done before June 9th. Before June 9th. That's the first hard deadline. Now I leave for Scotland on June 4th. So if you have trouble reaching me on either the 4th or the 5th, that's because I'm in transit and I'm not um, sure how available I'll be. I have my phone with me and I do get emails to my phone. I can check my D2L on my phone. Um, I check my email way more than any person should, uh, but if you are having trouble getting a hold of me, there, that's that's why I'm on an international flight. It's exciting, exciting. Um, so you'll see that I'm kind of doing this two chapters at a time. Um, I think that that you know that would equivalent if we had a Monday Wednesday class, that'd be two two days of class, two chapters. So it's kind of if you're wondering what the method to the madness is, that's sort of it. Um, so then we have that supplement of Joe Turner's Come and Gone. For this chapter, remember that comes with a paper. You'll submit that paper to the D2L Dropbox. So the D2L Dropbox um, has plagiarism detection. If you have a MacBook, please make sure that you save your document as a dot .doc and not as a pages because um, our plagiarism detection program only works with a dot .doc. So, um, if you have a Mac and you have any questions about that, just email me or you can always contact the help desk. That number is on your syllabus. So, um, Joe Turner's Come and Gone. Of course, there's a lecture there, my lecture over the content material on August Wilson. Uh, it's a fantastic play and I think it's a good play for some in depth study. So, moving on to the end of June, we go through chapters five and six. Um, July 7th. Now, I know for a lot of you, July 4th may be a time that you travel out of town or a time that you um, uh, celebrate in some big way. I know I'll be back in Tennessee and doing a big family event. Um, so I did try to kind of keep it light that week. Um, the, the live theater production is a paper that... Um, as I said, you need to go see a play in the area and then write a review of it. There's instructions in Chapter 11 and then also in the course to, in the um, in D2L. Uh, the live theater production review is only due at the latest at July 7th. That draw box is open any time before July 7th at midnight. So if I were you, um, I know I would get it in before the 4th and enjoy a nice long holiday so that I could relax with family and friends. Um, so then moving on to July 7th. Uh, 14th we have two more chapters two more chapters and then that final exam I also asked that the costume rendering be due by August 2nd um, the main reason that I did that is for some of you who maybe don't have technology uh, where you can scan something in I don't want it to be more complicated than it needs to be so I said if you wanted to just hand in a paper copy of your drawing when you come in to do the final exam I would accept it at that time so 
August 2nd. Make sure that that is the most important date. If you have a vacation at that time, you need to call me immediately because we need to get that worked out because that's when you need to come on site to take a written final exam. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, other than the August 2nd date, all of these other dates, you can definitely get it done before. You'll notice if you're looking at your calendar that these are all Sundays and all of the due dates are by midnight, 11.59 to be precise. Um, I don't put 12 because some people get confused with the whole midnight, 12 noon business. So just make sure you have it to me by 11.59 p.m. on Sundays. It's kind of my running date. And you'll see that these aren't necessarily every week. Um, sometimes I try to give you a break. Um, so when I say back here that you have to have chapter 1 and 2 done, um, what exactly do I mean by that? So <laughs> that was kind of a Romeo and Juliet pun. What's in a chapter module? What's in a name? Uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, first of all, want to read that textbook, brief version of theater, ninth edition by Robert Cohen. Uh, so read that chapter in the textbook. Um, and then when you log into D2L, you will see my videos and lecture that I have. Uh, I have a YouTube page where you can find uh, different lectures that I've given to you with a PowerPoint like this. I also have a website if you want to check out emilybrownseal.com to see my credentials, sort of what experience I have in theater in the past. Um, but the other videos there, if you have technology problems with this, and I anticipate that some of you might, uh, it has to do with your library subscription. So we're actually relying on a database that is um, provided to us by Motlo um, Digital Media. If you've never gotten in and played on the digital media streaming and you like documentaries or educational film, I highly recommend this service. But you do need to to log in proxy um, through the library's website every time. So make sure that you have your username and your password available. If not, go see one of your friendly librarians at a Motlo site. Um, so then every chapter you'll also have a discussion question and sometimes it'll be something simple like who's your favorite actor sometimes it's a little bit more involved such as write a monologue or write a poem remember I really want you to use your creativity and apply it because this is an art class and it is partially that soul food that artistic side of yourself so um, in some cases, uh, putting yourself out there artistically does take a little bit of guts. Hopefully, you being behind the computer screen will sort of lessen that sense of trepidation or fear. I put occasional paper there. Uh, obviously, you have those two papers and that drawing activity. So, um, the assessment is what D2L calls your quizzes. So for everything, make sure that the quiz is the last thing you bother with. First read the textbook, then to watch all of my lecture, watch all of the videos that I use for supplement. And for some uh, sections, such as musical theater, the video really says it a lot more clearly than I can. So I put uh, quite a few uh, videos of different musical theater genres up for you to watch. Um, but make sure you do all of that before you take the assessment. Um, just a word on the discussion boards. So the discussion boards, it can be really tempting to kind of just be super casual or disrespectful in the cyber environment. Um, in the industry, we call it burning. Uh, you know, try not to burn uh, in a cyber environment. It's it's hard when you don't see people's faces. It's easier to be mean. It's harder to uh, remember to use bad grammar because a lot of us may be checking in or using our phone to post these D2L updates. Um, make sure you're putting your best foot forward, that you're being academically up to par, that you're scholastically involving your mind, that you're thinking a little bit before you write responses to these questions. You will be graded on your discussion board just as you would as if you spoke in class. Uh, your class participation will depend on how eloquently you think through these discussion boards. So um, I'll send you occasional updates about that to say, hey, I really appreciate how you've been participating in our online class through the discussion board option. And then you might get an email 
of the opposite. Make sure you're capitalizing letters and using your best grammar and complete sentences and being respectful to other people in the environment. That's just a huge expectation that I have for us because um, I think that an online class can either really be added to by you as a student in the learning environment or it can really suffer if you fall down on this part of your responsibilities as an audience. Um, so uh, real quick as I'm screen capturing here I just want to log in and show you what I see. Yeah. So uh, when you first log in you will go home. Yeah. So this is me few years ago let's be honest and uh, yeah you're in 1030 you can see here these are the two books that I've asked you to purchase so this little toolbar here is the important thing so if you go to course content doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, good so this first video is just for fun you don't have to watch it um, but then we have our syllabus and a few words on my explanation of the syllabus so first we have these four different or three different th mm? do only have two here hmm so there are some plays yeah there's three here I'm sorry um, three plays that I recommend for this summer that you look into purchasing your own ticket and um, three local plays so if I were you I'd go ahead and decide what play and invest and then here we have uh, chapter 11 now I put chapter 11 first because it is the critiquing chapter and I did push that assignment up to halfway through the summer so I um, wanted to go ahead and do that first so that you knew how to write a critique so if you wanted to go see any of these plays like this weekend you could and go ahead and knock it out of the park and uh, have one of your papers finished lighten your load a little bit um, so then um, you can see here that if I just click on this link I'll go here the lecture and then uh, student learning outcomes this is just for you to know what I expect you to be able to do by the end of this um, chapter so it helps you to know how you're growing how you're changing what is the edification of this course and then of course the terms those are testable so you know that's a good thing to double check before you take your final exam go back over the terms for every chapter and then this checklist before you take your assessment this just reminds you okay for this one you only have a lecture and um, to read the chapter so hopefully that will help you a little bit so you can see here that there are 10 plus the 11 of the book plus the Joe Turner supplement right after playwriting so that would um, make us 12 modules and all in case you're wondering uh, when we as instructors use this word module it just means kind of how we've lumped everything together it's a technology term so then if we click this we were in course content now if we click over to discussions this is where weekly or every chapter actually twice a week I'll ask you to say what your um, thinking about the course through discussion so make sure you read the question really well the first thing I ask here is that you tell me um, your answers to Bernard Pivot's Proust questionnaire um, this is what they ask on inside the actor studio so it's just a way for me to get to know you in a way that's hopefully less superficial than the average get to know you activity I I'm not a huge fan of small talk let's be honest so this is the Dropbox folder uh, this little guy right here just means that there's plagiarism detection um, so you just upload it to the Dropbox if for some reason you accidentally load the wrong form or something just shoot me an email but you can load things as many times as you like so if you want to submit a new character analysis after you have revised it or if you realize you've submitted the wrong paper you can put as many in the Dropbox as you want so and then um, moving on you'll be able to see your grades the quizzes are 10 points a piece um, you can see here I've just labeled um, one these are the assessments as soon as you take the test it'll go straight in to tell you out of 10 how many points you got so yeah all right so um, 
I really hope you enjoy the the class. If you have uh, a time that you do want to meet with me this week, I am available for office appointments uh, this week, and I am also I'll be back into town on the 24th through uh, the 10th of of July. I'll be here through the 10th of July. So once again, if you'd like to come meet me face to face, put a face with a name or a voice, as it were, I'd be happy to do that and um, hopefully help you to learn a little bit about theater. I encourage you to work ahead. If you know that you're going to be out of town on certain dates, go ahead and shoot me an email. Let me know. I'll put them on my calendar just so I can be sensitive to that and help you work around your schedule. Um, I know a lot of you will be um, finishing earlier than you need to, and I appreciate that. I mean, to me, people ask me when I advise, you know, what's the secret of online class? The first thing that I would say is want to. You got to want to pass the class. You got to want to do well. That's the, that's the secret to education. And, and but the other thing that I would say is keep an organized calendar. No, every Sunday night before you go to bed, you should be asking yourself, "Have I done everything I need to do for my online class?" But really, wake up Monday morning and get started on the next week because the people that I hear a lot of excuses are people who procrastinate and. Um, I certainly hope you won't be that person. Uh, hopefully, the setup of this class has been conducive to learning for you. Hopefully, I've given you more than one learning style. You can hear my voice. You can flip through the book uh, and see it visually. You can engage in these activities, such as playwriting. And um, if you have any questions about the way that things are set up, just let me know. Thank you so much for listening. I really think this will be a great time. If you ever you have any questions about the quiz, you think a question was unfair or you were confused, uh, it could totally be my fault. So just let me know and I'll be happy to work with you. Thank you for listening.